pretty much every project we go into, we know there's going to be some cuts on the back end of how we slice and dice that. Um, you know, there's there's all kinds of different things that you can you can cut the audience by, but the most obvious one is like demographics, right? So you want to break your audience down by age groups, by genders, um, you know, ethnicities, if you do any kind of marketing around that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a ton of different household incomes. There's a ton of different common types of demographic cuts that you want to run and you can kind of compare results across them. Um, depending on the client you are, like another obvious one is like geographies. That's another yeah. common one we run into um, mm -hmm. with clients who are cutting their customer base by, um, you know, branch locations or regions or states, um, countries, if it's an international study. So there's a lot of different cuts you can make uh, based on that. We even do like secondary market areas, like, you know, some credit unions or banks, Mm -hmm. You know, eighty percent of the branches are in one state, so we'll group all of those customers from those branches into like a primary market area and compare that to their secondary markets. Um, another one is is behavioral too. Okay. So uh, how they behave, you know, in terms of like a bank and credit union, and it's comparing those who like to do things more in person versus those who like to do things more mobile. Mm -hmm. um, those people who buy your product more frequently than others. So like you, you compare people who are weekly purchasers to those who purchase like less than every six months. So there's a ton of different like behavioral ways to cut the data. So some of the surveys will ask about, uh, you know, what competitors of this brand are you using? Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll get into kind of cutting, you know, here's your customers that use brand A versus brand B, the two competitors and, and how they compare against one another. Mm -hmm.